Carla Gugino. Carla Gugino. Now I want to, I was going to say, you just did it. I was going to say, now I need you to say my name with that. Carla, it's with, so wonderful. With that accent. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me feel so much better now, you know. <laughs> Carla, I know you're living in both New York and L.A., but you're a New York girl originally, right? Or yeah. have I got that wrong? No, I, you know what's funny is I, I'm actually a Florida girl. Oh, are you really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Um, yes, Sarasota, Florida. But I have spent, I've spent since I was a kid, like the last 20 years between L.A. and New York. Uh -huh. Your New York eyes are so best. green right now with this dress. With I'm telling you, you <laughs> yeah, they wear really this dress are. every yeah. day yeah. for the yeah. rest I'll just of your fold life. a little green thing yeah. in my Fantastic. face. So <laughs> busy lately, Carla, doing it all on yeah. stage in Chicago with Brian Dennehy. Yeah. Yes, which was amazing. Desire Winter. Under the Elms is one of the classics. It's, it's, it's one of his Greek tragedies, so it's definitely really intense, but mm -hmm. an amazing, amazing role to play. Are you exhausted and after a big show like that where you use so much emotion? Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the most challenging things I've ever done. I mean, you definitely feel like you have to make sure you do not take the character home with you. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, uh, it's, it's, a good, it's a good thing. You know, you're, my, my boyfriend would not be happy. <laughs> but I would think you would do it once and you'd go, wow, that was exhausting and exhilarating. I'm so glad it's over with. But then you have to do it, what, eight times again, a week? Yeah, and then you go again. seven more shows oh, this no, week. Oh, no, oh, no. It's coming yeah. to, to Broadway. You're Brian yes, and Ellen yes. Broadway, that's great. Yeah. That's terrific. Brian Denny, Pablo Schreiber, myself. Uh, it's, it's kind of an amazing play. Robert Falls, who directed it, is phenomenal. And mm. Did did Long Day's Journey in Tonight with Vanessa mm -hmm. Redgrave mm -hmm. and Brian sure. and also yeah. Death of Salesman. But I'm thinking about doing a theater in the winter in Chicago. It was truly, I mean, being a Florida girl mm -hmm. and then being spending a lot of time. And New York is great. I mean, New York, it's cold today, but it's not that bad. No. Literally, mm -hmm. I was walking to the theater and it was... 12 below. And the wind, wind is show. blowing. This is yeah. not human. This is, people are not <laughs> supposed to live in this. I know, right. it's um, tough. You know? And, and the whole play is about people being tough. And the and then I was like, well, I guess, I guess I'm getting into character because somehow I'm like, I, this much of me is showing. <laughs> right. and, uh, yeah. and I'm still cold. <laughs> it's a filming entourage out in Hollywood, is it? No. Mm. Uh, you, you noticed that Carla played... Uh, uh, Jeremy Piven's uh, rival. Yes, yes. One of the agents in the, in yes. the uh, show. She is. Uh, she goes toe to toe with Ari, which is uh, a rare thing. And Doug Allen, the creator of the show, is is amazing. It was just like I need someone who can be as strong as he is, but in a totally different way, in a, from a female perspective. Uh -huh. So it was really fun. You held your own. I'll tell you. No <laughs> shout outs. You both of you had. Are they going to do the next series soon? Or yeah, they actually start filming uh, very soon, like within a week or so. Now, how do you fit this into your schedule? You're on what? You've got this play going on yeah, and the TV and, uh, show. And Race to Witch Mountain as well. That's, That's right. right. That's oh my God. God. Yeah. We've got yeah. here coming on, don't we? to remember uh, Return yes, to Witch Mountain. Yes. Do you remember that? I loved, I loved. That was and, such yeah. a big movie. And Escape from Witch Mountain, Escape too. Escape from mm -hmm. Witch Mountain, yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah, there were the, the two. I had, I, I owned the video, so when yeah. I actually, when they asked me to do this, I was so excited. Yeah, it's been a crazy time, in a great way. But, I mean, how does an actress fit all these things in her schedule? And do you have to give up something when you're involved with something else? Your life? <laughs> <laughs> Like you got the show Social on Broadway, life. you're gonna be there every night. <laughs> yeah, no, it's um, it's you know, I mean, as an actor and uh, an actor, I'm doing this for so long that it is really about taking the opportunities when you get oh, them. Absolutely. And I've been so, so fortunate in the last couple of years to be able to do so many great things. Good for you. When we come back, we'll take a look at Watchmen. Okay, right back in a moment. Friday on Live from the Sweet Life on Deck, acting twins Dylan and Cole Sprouse. And I, and I noticed as you two were talking mm. relentlessly during relentlessly. the commercial break we are women. To get in. that we yeah. both have ankle tattoos. <laughs> yes. Oh, Shall yes. we review them right we now? <laughs> which, one, which one goes first? And there oh, is Carla Gugino. Yeah. Little butterflies right. and a butterfly. That is a butterfly. Now, let's see what you got here. <laughs> you, you know what? It's so You've got the snake no. strangling the no, rose. No, no. This, was, <laughs> this was a picture of Regis, and I covered it all. <laughs> 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 it's very sexy. I think. Well, is it sexy, really? I don't know. It's you know. You it, tell it, me. It gets your eye. Right? I'll tell you that. Uh, <laughs> you know. I did it when I was seventeen. Yeah. So that I mean, that's that's the thing. <laughs> you do it before you have any sense yeah. at all. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, let's talk about Watchmen, of course, based on the highly popular graphic novel yes. about uh, the plot to kill all the great uh, superheroes, huh? It's definitely the deconstruction of a superhero movie. Mm -hmm. And I think all the superhero movies that we have had up till now have prepared people for Watchmen. I don't think this movie actually could have... It was written in the 80s, yep. and I think the fact that, that they waited this long to make it, which was just because of a series of instances, which all of the cast members are very glad they waited this long, but also it really is, it's the right time for it. So you went, of course, to the comic uh, the big comic party they have down there in Comic San Diego. Comic Con. Comic yes, Con. and it really is a comic party. I mean, it is. <laughs> seriously, it is just the group of the most fantastic people, many of whom are dressed up in the costumes of, you know, characters right. in the movie. And it was actually a great moment. We were on stage, um, and Zack Snyder, our director, was the whole cast, and we were in this huge room of 8,000 people, um, big conference room, and, and uh, the people were coming up to the mic, and this guy came up dressed as Rorschach, right. one of the characters, you know, with the, with the mask on yeah. Jackie Earl Haley's character. And he walked up and he said, you know, do you think this is realistic and Zach said I love that you're dressed up as Rorschach asking if this is realistic right, exactly. <laughs> it's perfect so but by the way to him that probably wasn't a costume <laughs> uh, that is true that was his that everyday wear so no, comic they are, they books such still a, rule huh? yeah I mean, people I mean, it's just such still a passionate love and you play people. and I play Sally Jupiter mm. who begins like this Whoa. Um, Sally uh, Jupiter. In, in the uh, in the late 30s early yeah. 40s she is a uh, costumed crime fighter uh -huh. um, it's a bunch of outcasts who basically dress up and decided to fight crime. She had her own comic? Um, no, she did not have her own comic. Okay. Maybe she should. funny, though. You really, that suits you, that 1930s look. It was really fun to do. Well, and the crazy thing, you. thank you so much, is that, is that she ages to 67 years old. Oh, really? With full prosthetics and uh, mm. the whole uh -huh. deal. So it was a fascinating character to play. She looks a lot different of the clip we're about to show. Yes, exactly. You'll yeah. see where she goes. All right, in this particular uh, clip, you are talking to your daughter, right? Yes. Uh, about the past with your daughter who plays played by Mullen Ackerman. Mullen Ackerman. Yeah, Take a look at Watchmen. Why do you always call me mother when you're mad? I know why you're here. I can still read, you know. Watchmen opens on Friday. The reviews are out today and they're, they're terrific reviews. It's an extraordinary film. Well, good luck to you. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Steve. Have a good day, Thank you.